Christmas concerts and, and singing engagements all throughout Tomball. Uh, these students have, have been um, put to work and, and we are, they're doing the Lord's work, sharing uh, the Christian message throughout the community. I uh, just wanted to share briefly a little bit about Concordia uh, for you. Maybe you know somebody that went there or you drive by it, you've seen it, uh, but we've actually been part of the Tomball community since the early 80s. Uh, in 1982, some families that uh, back when a lot of this was farmland and not as populated as it is now. Uh, families wanted a private Christian high school option for their students. Uh, so we started with 36 students in 1984. Uh, and we were at an old uh, Tomball ISD segregated school building on Pubsley. Uh, it's now ACC, a construction company. Uh, so we were there for our first 10 years and uh, God blessed us in the early 90s. We were able to sec secure the land where we currently are off 2920 really close to Tomball ISD headquarters at 2978 and 2920. Uh, so we have 40 acres, and at that time we only had about 20, or sorry, 200 students. Uh, so now we are just under 600 students. Uh, we have families that are coming from all over the metro. Um, I shared some of this with the Rotary Club last week. Uh, but we have families coming from 47 different zip codes this year. Um, and Tomball has two of them, so just think about that. Um, and we also have families coming from 17 different communities. So Tomball is a community, Waller, Magnolia, Hempstead, Hockley, uh, Humble, Atascacita, all the way down to Richmond, Sugarland, uh, Full Shirt, Katy, uh, the Woodlands. So if you think about the, the map of Houston, Texas, and the metro that we are, we kind of have a crescent moon. Or if you have an old rotary phone, you know, you kind of go all the way around. Uh, we're almost all the way around the circle. Uh, God's truly blessed our ministry, and it's been neat to be a part of a school where our, uh, our, the three things that we kind of say is we want a safe Christian high school uh, environment for our students. Uh, we want our students to be known. Uh, we want them to be engaged and, and have the opportunity to be part of multiple activities. Um, so the last thing that I'll say before the choir starts is just looking up here, you'll see 16 uh, bright smiling faces of people. Um, wanted to share with you just some of their other activities that they're involved in. You know, being at a smaller uh, private school, our class sizes are smaller, but we also have a lot of the same extracurricular offerings as a big public school, uh, but we have less students, so it requires everybody to jump in and be a part of it. Okay, so of these 16 students, uh, besides choir, here's some of the activities that they're involved in. Theater, including the one I play and the musical. Uh, side plug for that, end of February, we are doing Disney's Little Mermaid, okay? We have uh, Ursula on stage, we have Eric on stage. Do we have, we have, there's a couple. King Triton is on stage. So it, uh, you'll, you'll kind of, there's some powerhouses up here that you'll want to see at the end of February. 
okay? Um, our band, jazz band, speech and debate, art team, cross country, soccer, tennis, cheer, track and field, golf, <coughs> esports, student council, NHS, and multimedia. Uh, so these students are really talented, but I could say that about the other 550 kids on campus. They're involved in a lot of things. And with that, uh, just if, uh, as we look forward to our next academic year, if you know anybody that uh, would like uh, to a tour or to come see Concordia, you're always welcome. Uh, we have about 150 freshmen every year, uh, and we will probably have more applicants than space, unfortunately. So, uh, but with that, the last bit, about 40% of our students receive some form of tuition assistance. Uh, so whether it is uh, you know, a location thing or a cost, uh, issue, uh, we do whatever we can to make cost not be a reason for somebody to come to Concordia. Right. So enjoy the, the show. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Johnson. Michael, can we do something we've never done before? Can we get access to Ron and them introduce themselves? Sure. Let's do it. <coughs> Say your name. You're great. Thank you. Hello. My name is Chloe Carter. I'm a senior and I'm a soprano one. Um, I'm Selena Levin, I'm a junior, and I'm a soprano one. Hi, I'm Marley Lewis, I'm a sophomore, and I'm a soprano one. Hi, my name is Kendall Miller, I'm a junior, and I'm a soprano one. Hi, my name is Ella Reed, I'm a sophomore, and I'm an also one. Hi, my name is Kendall Fielder, and I'm a junior, and I'm Hi, I'm Kate Argo. I'm a junior and I'm an alto too. Hi, I'm Melissa Oblinger. I'm a senior and I'm an alto too. Hi, my name is Richie Wilkerson. I'm a freshman and I'm a zero one. Hi, my name is Mikey Hadrick. I'm a zero one. What grade? Oh, 12. <laughs> my name is Joseph Lyons. I'm a senior and I'm a tenor too. Good afternoon. My name is Nathan and I'm a sophomore and a tenor too. I'm Lucas Walsh-Nesson, I'm a base one, I'm a junior. Uh, what's up, my name is Trevor Witt, uh, I'm a base one, I'm a junior. My name is Nate Hill, I'm a junior, I'm a base two. Hi, my name is Elijah Wong, I'm a freshman, I'm a base two. Again, for inviting us to come out to your uh, luncheon for a little Christmas and choral music entertainment. Uh, as he said, it's my 12th year at Concordia, and this is the one event um, that I have been blessed to be able to do with the Chamber Choir each and every year. Um, so we're very uh, happy to be back with you uh, to sing some pieces uh, over our uh, lunch hour. Um, the first two selections for you come from our fall concert, which was back in October. Uh, the first one is uh, Not to Us, O Lord, based off of Psalm 115. And it was specifically written this summer uh, by a friend of mine who is a composition, has a composition doctorate uh, for this chamber choir. And so he reached out and was like, hey, do you want me to write something for your group? I was like, I think the chamber choir would be a great group for you to write for. So it was written for this group. Uh, they premiered it in October. Uh, and then the second selection um, is a spiritual called uh, I Want to Die Easy, and it's going to have a feature soloist, uh, Junior Melissa Oblinger. So I hope you enjoy our first two pieces. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to move into some Christmas selections for you now. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do uh, two very short carols, uh, We Three Kings, um, and then uh, Silent Nights, and then we'll finish off with a couple more pieces uh, of Christmas music. So this is We Three Kings of Orient Art.
two more Christmas uh, selections for you, and these were the two that the Chamber Choir performed at our Christmas concert, which was this past Sunday. Uh, the first one is my favorite Christmas carol, uh, Lo How Rose Air Blooming, and then we'll do an arrangement of What Child Is This? Thank you so much again for welcoming us uh, to sing for you all this afternoon. Uh, what a joyous season and a blessing it is to share this talent and these students with you. Um, and so with that, we'll sing our final selection for you. This is What Child Is This? <clears throat> Sweet. 